Okay, yeah, let me just take this down. Uh, the stormtroopers are what color? Yeah, black and white. Okay. The snow troopers are uh, white and a little bit of gray, but kind of black and white. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Scout troopers are going to be yeah, bla also black and white. Right. Yep. Yeah. White and black. We got a pattern here, and the royal guard are going to be a red. A red. They're going to be red. Yeah. No, that's what he wants. But everything else is white and black. I don't get it. Why is he switching to red? Well, you know, they're a higher, higher class of soldier. They're they're the best of the best. Because they're more elite? The entire movie, all I do is see him walk behind the Emperor or behind an elevator. I don't know what to tell you. Okay, whatever. It's going to clash with everything. Hello and welcome to another episode of Blasticated Painting. Today we're going to be painting the Royal Guard from Star Wars Legion by Atomic Mass Games. So, I am going to be using the airbrush quite a bit in this video, but don't look at it as though, oh, I don't have an airbrush, I don't need to watch a video. No, you don't need to, but please do. Think of it more as a commercial for you to get an airbrush and just how quickly you can get something done with it airbrushes so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna give this guy a black spray which is just a matte black from a spray can I coat that over the entire miniature then we're gonna take some white ink and we're gonna give this guy a xenothal highlight um, you might notice that I'm blowing stuff all around my desk but whatever so as we give the xenothal highlight we want to make sure that we're keeping well with any xenothal highlight we're keeping some parts dark and some parts white Then we're going to take some red ink, and this is a naphthol crimson. You know what? I'm just going to say crimson, because I don't think there's any way I can pronounce that. I don't know what that word is. Naphthol? Nap Naphthol? I don't know. It's crimson. It's crimson ink. And we're going to use this crimson ink on all the parts that we just sprayed white. So we're basically doing the same thing, only with the red. After you guys have hit these with the crimson ink, make sure that you spray them with a matte sealer. For whatever reason, speed paints and contrast paints will just take that ink right off. Then we're going to move on to Luxion Purple, and this is going to go on all of his uh, sleeves and his pants. So, above his uh, gloves and uh, above his boots. And once the first coat of that has dried, I'm going to go through and do a second coat as well, just to really deepen it a little bit. Next, we're going to take cold gray here and we're going to put this on all of their weapons. Now while we wait for that uh, cold gray to dry, we're going to take some grim black and we're going to just put it in their eyes here. Visors. They're not eyes. They're visors. We're going to put in their visors. So this part can be a little uh, finicky. Just take your time, go slow, and try not to get it on any of the red. Next, we're going to take some Gravelord Gray, and this is going to go on to all of the parts that we painted with the Cold Gray. Okay. 
And then we're going to take some Warlord Purple, and this is going to go on the guy with the Electro Staff. We are just going to dry brush this on the end. And we're going to just do this in a couple layers and just build it up slowly. Then we're going to take some Squid Pink, and this is going to go on the raised parts at the end of the... Electro staff, so it's basically like a cheap poor man's OSL. That's what we do around here. Cheap poor man stuff. But it's quick, it's easy, and it's effective. And I'm going to put on some Vallejo Desert Sand Basing Paste. Uh, this is a little tricky because you want to make sure you don't get it on there robes but if you do that's okay because we're gonna we're gonna kind of weather them a little bit and we're gonna throw on some beach sand here i will try not to put my hand right in front of the camera next we're gonna take some skeleton horde contrast paint and we're just gonna put this on the base Then we're going to take some Evil Sun Scarlet and we're just going to put this gently on their robe. So this is just a really light dry brush across the red parts of the miniature. Next, we're going to take some Wild Rider Red, and we are going to do the same thing, only a little bit lighter, and we're going to focus this more towards the top parts of the miniature. Then we're going to take some Leather Brown, and we are going to just dry brush this along the bottom parts, so on the boots and on the bottom hem of the cloak. This is going to give us quite a bit of weathering, a bit of a dustier look down near the bottom. We will add a black rim around the base, and these guys are done. And for a short, quick paint job, these guys look pretty cool. Uh, I really like the red. Um, the guy, uh, the Electro Staff guy, turned out really good. Um, I'm really happy with these guys. I mean, simple, easy, and effective. Let me know what you guys think about airbrushes. Are you looking into getting one? Uh, have you thought about it? I have an Iowata HPCS. Uh, it's fantastic. I use it all the time. I was really hesitant to get one. I really was like, oh, that's a lot of money. You know, there's a lot of reasons not to. Turns out when you're painting, there's a lot of reasons to get one. I've had mine for about six months and honestly, it's changed the way I paint completely. You guys should look into getting one. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff, and you guys have a great day. Thanks so much. After you have sprayed the crimson ink, make sure to give these guys a spray of whatever matte sealer you're using, because for whatever reason... Uh, Hello and welcome to another episode of Blaster Kitty Painting. Today we're going to be painting the Royal Guard from Star Wars Legion. Mm, I would like to do it again. And for a short, quick paint job, these guys...